You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television, for you, by you. Welcome everyone and thank you uh, Phyllis for inviting me into your house today um, to meet both uh, Sheila and Phyllis, um, Sheila Houston and Phyllis Reeve were members of the second generation peace organizations or the peace movements that created the wonderful doves that we see all over Gabriola and today we're just going to find out a little bit more about the history of the doves and the um, peace movement on Gabriola. Um, and first, I will get you both to introduce yourselves in the way that you would like. And um, we'll start with you, Sheila. Well, hello. I have been um, a Gabriolan since 1993. And uh, so I wasn't actually here for the first round of Peace on Gabriola. There was a, there was a group here who were the originators of the peace stuff. But, um, I came along a bit later and uh, found that this was the kind of place where everybody seemed to be in some form of a peace movement. So I've been part of that ever since. Right on. And I've known Phyllis since back then. <laughs> well, I've been here way longer than she was since 1987. <laughs> so I too was too late for the, the first uh, round. And so when, uh, uh, when Sheila, and uh, she'll explain how it happened, but when she, they started to make them again, um, uh, my husband Ted and I were very, very pleased because, um, well, we'd been wondering why there was any more at all for many years, so we just were glad to join Sheila and Jay in this. <laughs> And what got you um, started in uh, uh, reinvigorating the doves? And um, was there a single reason or just your activism? Well, no, there, there was an actual reason for sure. When I first came to the island, um, I stayed with my parents. And this dove is one of the first generation peace doves. And it was at the end of my mother's driveway. So I was familiar with the peace doves of Gabriola and I discovered that they had been put up by the original peace group. There was a Gabriola peace group who had done all this work and, and one of the things they did, uh, among many, was to use, set up these peace doves. And then along came 9-11. Um, and at that point, um, I was in a household with uh, Jay Macell and Heide Brown um, and we were Jay, in particular, was a real peace activist. He had been training Gabriolans and others at the Clairquat uh, peace camps, uh, training them in nonviolence, along with Jean McLaren. He and Jean did that together. Jean was one of the first of the early peace activists. And so when 9-11 happened, it was a great and awful shock to everybody. And it seemed like, rather as we feel now, it really is time for us all to be thinking about peace. And I wondered, would you like me to read what I wrote? What I did is, was I thought, well, we need more peace stuffs. And Jay was the handy person in the household, and so he got a hold of one of the original ones and simply made copies. And I took down a number of them to the summer farmer's market and was selling them. And uh, I had this as a, my explanation of what we were doing. And I said, it, the Gabriola Peace Dove. Gabriolans have all been deeply affected by the tragedy of September 11th, 2001. And our hearts and sympathies go to all those who died and to the loved ones they left behind. In the wake of this event, there is shock and sadness and emotions run very high. But we believe that retaliating with violence against innocent civilians would only breed more violence and would ensure that future generations will live in fear with mistrust and suffering. The only way to ensure that the tragedy of September 11th and similar tragedies around the world do not happen again is to build bridges of love, respect and understanding among all people. 
Only love leads to peace with justice. The Gabriola Peace Dove was first displayed in 1984 by some of our neighbors who were working for peace. At this time, we think it is appropriate for all of us to show our support for peace and justice by displaying the ancient symbol of the dove. Let this be a sign to all that Gabriolans are committed to peace. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. So what happened then is that uh, Jay just had a few scraps of plywood around. <laughs> and, uh, but fortunately, that's when Phyllis and her husband Ted came into the picture and Phyllis moved on the next step. Yes, well, uh, Ted and I were uh, running pages of Marina and around the Marina there's always lots of spare wood. So pretty soon Jay, with Ted to help him, had uh, all the scraps of wood they could possibly want. And so we made more and we have the store there. So uh, when, when the uh, a fall fair came to an end. Um, we moved. The, 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 oh, I think I wrote it. In a, there's a uh, a. Uh, oh, a clipping from the, the sound of the here where I say that the, the whole dovecote moved, flew from the Aggie Hall to to Pages Marina, and uh, we sold them there. Sorry about the clock, and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, um, then we we discovered that the piece of wonderful though it was was too big to put in a suitcase if you wanted to take it if you were a tourist you wanted to take it home or in my case I was going to visit my daughter and I wanted to take her one and also difficult to mail mm. so we um, we created baby piece stubs. so you can see that. That one is a lot more flyable. Indeed. <laughs> well, this one is paper. I don't have a wooden one around. But so, there are some. I saw one up on a tree just yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we've, and, and we found that, uh, we, that these went really quite quickly. They flew away pretty quickly. And, uh, uh, and we gave, the proceeds went to would these ones go to the, they, I think they went to the food bank. Yeah, yeah. And in those days we usually referred to it as the food bank because yeah. that's what PhD was mostly doing, but PhD now does a great number of things, but yeah. that's where the money went. Yes, and some of them went to loaves and fishes in the Nanaimo. Oh, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then a, um, a little, uh, that was in 2004 we started doing that. And then in the, the next year, the museum had a this uh, exhibition about the Peace Art Association, and it turned out that people found they had all sorts of bumper stickers, and they had little seals with pictures of the Pegaso Bob Adolf on it, and uh, so they uh, suggested that we might want to sell them along with the doves. So we sold them for a, a loony, and all that money went to uh, PHC. And uh, so we get, we kept on flying, I guess, until until, until we uh, uh, until Ted and Jay both got quite sick and couldn't make them anymore. Mm. And, uh, so they so that was the second generation that basically. Was the, second the first generation. generation had been in the eighties with the original peace group, and we were the second generation it, it, kicked off by nine eleven. And now we've got a third generation, and it, obviously. We need peace just as much as we ever did. Absolutely. Um, is there anything that you would like to say about peace or where, where you're at now with peace or what you would like to see folks do to, to promote peace? Or what, what can we do, I guess? That's a really simple question, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a bit like life, the universe, and everything. The answer is 42. <laughs> yeah. Well... Honestly, I do think that still saying we believe in it matters. And so it, it actually does matter to have symbols of peace and to put them up. So I encourage Gabrielans to put up a peace stuff. It's, yeah. it's not the only thing, but it is something you can do. There's a lot more. But I still believe what we said back in that, and I'm sure what the original peace group would have said the same thing, is we need peace and justice. We need love and connection between people. and. It's kind of obvious, and yet we are a long way away from having it. Thank goodness we have it on Gabriel. Absolutely. Most of the time. I mean, we have our 
squabbles periodically, but we do know how to get along and we do know how to take care of each other. And those are basic to having peace. Absolutely. Phyllis. Uh, I I think as I mentioned that I never could figure out why people wanted war, but uh, uh, my husband did postgraduate work at uh, UCLA in the year 1967 to 68, which was sort of a momentous year for the peace movement. And uh, actually what astonished us and really impressed us was how people, how the, especially the young people, spoke out in California, and in, there were all the demonstrations, and some of what, well, and some of it. I have a lot of deja vu this week with the demonstrations in, on the mm -hmm. campuses. And uh, um, we were never uh, activists in the way that uh, Sheila and Jay were, uh, direct action and so on. Uh, we were, uh, well, this is not quite true. I remember my one of my daughters when she was in grade seven going out with a sign about stopping the Trident missile base. And, um, so uh, I don't know what kind of a upbringing that was for children, but they all turned out all right. And none of them have killed anyone yet. So, no. <laughs> I met my first husband at one of those peace demonstrations at the University of Chicago in 67, I think it was. And um, our daughter, in the intervening years, was went to lots of those April peace marches. We used to have an Easter peace march in Vancouver. There thousands of people would show up. And she remembers being pushed along in her baby buggy going to the peace marches. <laughs> Didn't do her any harm either. Yes, it's quite um, surprising to see um, so much protest at the universities and the colleges in the States and uh, against the, the current state of affairs. So, yeah, I think, it, I think we're almost coming full circle in a really odd, weird, bad way. And so maybe we'll see a resurgence. Yeah. Well, maybe of some peace. of it is good. Some of it is certainly not good. And, but it seems to me that if you, if you are trying to support peace for everybody, not just for some people, but for all people, then you can't really go wrong, and you may end up in trouble for doing it, but it's what, uh, wasn't it John Lewis, the congressman who was in the civil rights movement, said, get into good trouble. <laughs> so I encourage everybody to go out and get into good trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be the slogan of all. <laughs> all right. Is there anything, any any last words that you would like to have, or any thoughts? I have on? one, this is my piece of... <laughs> Uh, you, you folks have actually reminded me to put it up. I've had it around. It was belong the one that belonged to my mother, and I haven't gotten around to putting it up in my new place where we are living now. But last fall, at the, in November, when we have the cenotaph, where so, so many Gabriels, Gabriolans come out for the uh, service at the cenotaph, and last year I put mine up on a pole and uh, decorated my piece dove up a bit, and... Um, created this little poster to go with it, which was one of Jay's uh, sayings. To remember is to end all war. Hmm. It was, that's what we do when we remember. We remember not because we're in favor of war, but because we want peace. Okay. I think it's in your interview with uh, John, the third phase, where one of you mentions that all his doves are facing left. And I thought, my dub is too, but then I realized that we had hung the dub so you could see it from either direction, which means that sometimes it's facing right. And I thought that was really important in a way to uh, point out that wherever we think we are on the political spectrum, uh, the peace isn't, uh, it shouldn't be a matter of... It's, it's not a partisan it's, issue. It's not a partisan it's, issue. This is, this is for all humanity. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much today for speaking with me about the doves and uh, I'm looking forward to, to um, I understand we're gonna, the, uh, the interviews will be aired on Life on Gabriel and Media Society's Facebook page and on social medias and we'll make sure we get you a copy. That would be great. Okay. Thank you so much for having us reminisce over all this 
old times oh. <laughs> and new times. And now we got to go out and do it all over again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>